hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be trying out this look and this should be a crashed face look but then i feel that the hollow eyes are created for her is, is um a bit dramatic so people said she looks like venom and i don't know the character venom please stay tuned and learn the process guys it's very easy but not so easy and you can grab quickly so I'm starting by applying her face and I'm going to use this to cover her eyes where I will form the hollow look. Um, so this I'm using gelatin for the look, for the for, uh, to gum her eyes um, I, I need to say. So now I'm using the gelatin, pasting it on the paper and then using it to cover her eyes where I would form that hollow look. So that's basically what I'm doing now, I'm using the gelatin to gelatin and pepper to the pepper to cover her eyes and then applying gelatin on her face to hold back the pepper more. And also, as you can see, I'm holding a tissue, that's what I'll be using to create the whole look. So guys, in case if you want to try this look, you want to try out this look, please don't forget to press the tissue down. You see the way I did it now, but you, you have to press it down, make it so flat. Because I, I was, I still having a, a hard time with this um, gelatin. It dries faster, and then the tissue was just coming to my hand, uh, and that's why it's a bit dramatic. The hollow eyes. When you do your own, make sure you fold the tissue very well and press it down, so that it won't be coming to your hands. If possible, avoid the gelatin touching your hand. Because it will give you a hard time like it did to me. But sure, this is the first time I'm trying out this look. Maybe the next time I will know how to handle the gelatin and then the tissue. But for today, please guys, follow this um, step, this particular step very well. Now I'm just using the gelatin to go over the, to the tissue and and cut it. As you can see now, I'm using my the the back of my spoon to make the eyes so hollow as I'm going in to apply more gelatin to it. I'm using the eyes now, the hollow eyes now. Then I'm now placing my fake nails. For this I'm using um, fake nails, white nails, like neutral nails, the unpainted ones. So I bought them and it's very cheap, about one, one, 150 or so, 150 naira. So I'm placing it trying to use it to form my fake teeth and then I kind of I, I thought I wasted this nails because I, I should have cut them into two and they will still serve me so now they are a bit long and they are very long not even a bit long they are very long and I'm but I'm placing it in a way that it will still be covered so it's not totally bad just that I felt it's a waste so that's basically what I'm doing now placing the this thing placing the nails and using my gelatin to hold the nails down because this gelatin is very strong people who bake we know more about this gelatin gelatin helps you to hold them i think it's used for fondant icing but gelatin is very strong it can hold anything and it will hold it so strong so that's what i'm using to to do this i'm so sorry my my my, my mother is sleeping and this is not the first time she sleeps all the time we do this so please guys you guys should pardon us and then i'm placing the the nails now going over so it will be arranged because i don't want it to be scattered you know we are creating this is um, effect this is an effect so it should be it should be so real even if it doesn't look 100 percent real or at least 90 percent should look real so that people even if you are looking at it from afar it will be you will feel it's real and when you still come close you will still have that feeling maybe it's real that kind of feeling so that's what what we are doing and that's why we are taking our time to place the nails to be, to be straight now i'm using the tissue to cover up the tips of the nails so it will not be so like i told you so it's not be too long or be showing that a uh, that her nails are this thing now. I I don't know. I don't know if you if you get what I'm trying to say. But then I feel I feel you should get it. So I'm just using the the, the tissue to cover up the 
the tips of the nail. So when you look at it, it doesn't have edges. Or look at how that place is, unless she raises up her head. But when you look at her, you will see the edges of the of the nail. So that's what I just did now. And now I'm bringing more tissue to hold her down, to hold the nails down. And what I wanted to do with this tissue is just place it randomly. But then I wasn't able to do it again. And but that's fine. That's fine. It's still turned out to work. Now I'm painting the this thing. I'm using my black this thing, my black eyeliner. Play painting the wood. You know you have to make it like the in my last video. I told you guys you have to make it hollow. So for you to make something look so deep and real, you have to go first before going with dark um or black this thing around those places that you want it to be deep or appear deep. Now I'm going in with my fake blood. So for this fake blood. I mixed it last week and I used food color and then I used food color and um, and gelatin. I added a little bit of gelatin to make it big, but I didn't heat it up because heating my gelatin up means it will it will turn into into gum or, or it will be, it will become gummy or something like that. So I don't want it to be like that. I just pour in my raw gelatin into it. So now I'm taking my time using my fake blood to go over the white tissue. And that's what I'm doing now. I should have first of all gone with um, an, um, a foundation, I mean to say. I should have gone with a foundation before going in. But as you can see, it's not so necessary for me to. And we are rushing because I wanted my mother to go back to sleep. So that's why I just did. But if you have the time and you can do it, but it's not too necessary. Even if you use foundation, you should just use foundation for the edges. But then it's not necessary. You can mix your foundation into your gelatin and then you start because that's what I, I do. I mix my foundation and my gelatin together and I don't have to go in with another foundation. So for her eyes, I used spray. I used, I found out that doing it one one takes my time. So. I used I, I made a fake blood and put it to a perfume bottle. So I just sprayed the whole face. And now I'm going in with the, the, the fake blood I added gelatin into. And I'm using it to deepen that place and make it appear darker and more real. I'm covering up all those places that you can still see the whiteness of the tissue. And yeah, that's what I'm using the, the fake blood now to do. And that's basically it guys. So as you can see this look it doesn't take so much time it's not that easy because i keep going back to heat up my gelatin and god i had a hard time god ah, i had a, a hard time creating this look it's not easy but then it doesn't take much time all you have to do is just learn make details and and, and that's that's basically it. so guys this is the look this is the finished look please comment in the in the um the comment section and tell me what you feel about this look how do you see do you think it's nice how real is it please don't forget to, to share like and and subscribe to my youtube channel guys bye guys